Hello, my name is Errol Wilson. I'm a nurse practitioner at Brigham Community Health Center in Coachella, California, and a student in the Master's in Nursing Education program, California State University, San Bernardino. Welcome to the session on administering epinephrine autoinjector and food allergies in schools. This presentation is based upon the policy guide titled Safe at School and Ready to Learn, a comprehensive policy guide for protecting students with life-threatening food allergies published by the National School Boards Association in 2011 with support from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. This presentation was developed primarily for preschool teachers, administrators, staff, parents, healthcare providers, and others. The purpose is to make sure that all stakeholders have a clear understanding of the why and how of addressing food allergies in the school setting. There are six objectives for the session to define anaphylaxis, the signs and symptoms, learn how to administer an EpiPen, learn common EpiPen mistakes, demonstrate EpiPen use to a trainer, verbalize steps after EpiPen is administered. The definition of anaphylaxis appears on this slide. The body's immune system responds to the presence of food protein in the form of a reaction. There are distinct symptoms of food allergic reactions that will be reviewed in this presentation. There has been an increase in food intolerance. People often confuse food intolerance with food allergies. Common symptoms of food intolerance are gastric discomfort and diarrhea. Eliminating the food will eliminate the symptoms. The example of lactose intolerance is presented here. Other common food intolerances that you might hear about are gluten or monosodium glutamate, MSG. 6% to 8% of children under the age of 18 are allergic to at least one food. One in seven children younger than three are allergic to at least one food. 40% of children with food allergies experience severe reactions. And Two million school days per year in the U.S. are missed due to allergies. Severe allergic reactions are commonly caused by cow's milk, eggs, soy, peanuts, tree nuts, fish, shellfish, and wheat. Others are medications, insect venom, and latex. Eight types of foods account for 90% of all food allergy reactions. Peanut allergies is one of the leading cause of anaphylaxis attack. Together, peanut and tree nut allergies are responsible for the majority of deaths due to food-related anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is the term for a serious, life-threatening allergic reaction. Anaphylaxis is rapid in onset and may cause death. It is characterized by symptoms that affect multiple organ systems, of which changes in the cardiovascular and respiratory system, such as drop in blood pressure and upper airway obstruction reducing ability to breathe are among the most severe. Not all food allergic reactions result in anaphylaxis, but food allergies are the leading cause of anaphylaxis outside of the hospital setting. Administering the medication epinephrine by injecting is the treatment for anaphylaxis. In the treatment of anaphylaxis with epinephrine, quick administration is key. A delay can be deadly. Grasp the EpiPen and form a fist around the unit. With the other hand, Pull off the blue safety cap. Hold the orange tip near the outer thigh. Swing and jab the orange tip firmly into the outer thigh so that the auto injector is perpendicular to the thigh. You should hear a click. Hold the EpiPen firmly in place for 10 seconds and then remove it from the thigh. Remove the EpiPen and massage the injected area for 10 more seconds. Never put fingers, thumb, or hand over the orange tip. The blue cap must be removed for the EpiPen to work. Pressure must be exerted on the orange end for the EpiPen to work. A serious food allergic reaction is an emergency. Identify personnel to administer medications. Epinephrine is relatively safe and its side effects, if administered unnecessarily, are mild and temporary. 
The actual location of the epinephrine should be carefully considered and identified in a student's individual written management plan. Call 911 after epinephrine is given and document the time of administration. Notify parents that anaphylaxis is suspected and the hospital the student is taken to. Professional development and training for school personnel is needed to support students with life-threatening food allergies and respond to an emergency. It is important to also include training for others working with students who have food allergies like substitute teachers and volunteers. A few areas to include in the annual training are included here. Beyond education, additional skill instruction and practice will be needed for those specifically assigned to administer epinephrine or who are likely to be present during an allergic reaction. The presentation references are noted on the following slides. This concludes the presentation. Your questions and comments are welcome.